Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the third question from 058041, extended paper from October November 2024. Now, this question is from statistics topic. Now, let us start with the first one. The table shows the waiting times for 120 patients at a medical center. Calculate an estimate of the mean waiting time. Now, they have given us a table over here. As we can see, the frequency represents the number of patients visiting the medical center. And the class intervals given over here represents the waiting time for these number of patients. Since here we have been asked to find out the mean, the formula for it is sum of fx over sum of total frequency. Now sum of fx means we have to take the midpoint of the given class intervals. We have to multiply them with their respective frequencies and we need to add them one by one. And total frequency has already been mentioned over here as 120. So let us start with sum of fx now, starting with the first one. Since 0 to 10 is given, we are going to find out the midpoint by adding these two intervals, that is 0 plus 10, and then dividing it by 2. So 0 plus 10 gives us 10, and 10 divided by 2 gives us 5. So 5 is the midpoint of this class interval. So let us write here 5. Now it needs to be multiplied by its frequency, which is 2. Then add it with. Now we are going to do the same thing. We are going to find out the midpoint of this class interval. That is 10 plus 20 is 30 and 30 divided by 2 gives us 15, which is the midpoint of this class interval. So we are going to write 15 multiplied with its frequency, which is 46. Next, we are going to repeat the same thing for the rest three intervals. So let me write it over here. So for the third class interval, the midpoint is 30. So 30 times 33 plus 45 times 26 plus 65 times 13. Now this entire numerator will be divided by the total frequency which is 120. So let us see what value this gives us. So this is the entire numerator written over here and let us see how much we get. So this is the value of the numerator. Now this is going to be divided by 120. So this is going to give us the mean as 30.875. So let us write here. So 30.875 is the estimate of the mean waiting time. Now let us move on to the next one. The histogram shows some information about the waiting times at a different medical center. The total number of patients is 90 and no patient waits for more than 80 minutes. Complete the histogram for the patients that have a waiting time between 10 to 30 minutes. So here we can see that a histogram is given. And there is a bar which is missing between 10 to 30 minutes. We need to find out the frequency of people who wait between 10 to 30 minutes. Now here, the frequency is not given as it was given in the previous part of this question. As we can see, number of patients who were waiting. So here, let us try to find out the frequency of the people waiting between these time intervals. And to find that, the frequency density is given and the class width is given. So we have a formula which relates the frequency density, frequency and the class width as frequency is equal to frequency density times class width. So to find out the frequency, we have to just multiply the frequency density given here along with its corresponding class width. So let us start with the first class interval that is between 0 to 10. Now here the frequency density for this class width is, now here each division is 0 0.05 units. So here it is going to be, let me just enlarge it. Here each division is 0 0.05, so here this division becomes 1.05, 1.10, 1.15, 1.25, 1 1.25 and 1.30. So this is going to be 1.30 and the class width is upper class limit minus the lower class limit. So 10 minus 0 gives us 10. So let us write here. So for the first one we have the class width as 10. And the frequency density, we got it as 1.3. So the frequency is going to be 1.3 times 10, which is 13. Now let us do the same thing for this one. Here we can see that the class width is 50 minus 30. That is going to be 20. And the frequency density is going to be 1.5, as we can see. So let us write here 1.5. So the frequency is again going to be 1.5 times 20, giving us 30. So basically we are trying to get the frequency of the patients visiting this medical center. Now for the last one, we have the class width as 80 minus 50, which is going to be 30. 
and let us check the frequency density how much this is going to be so let me just enlarge it again so it's going to be over here so this is going to be 0 0.4 so let me write here 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 times 30 is going to give us the frequency as 12 now for the last one since we do not know the frequency we can still find it out because we know the total number of patients visiting that is 90 and we have got the remaining number of patients who have visited for the rest of the time so we are going to just subtract these numbers by 90 to get the total number of patients visiting between this time interval so here we are going to write 90 minus 13 plus 30 plus 12 so let us see what value this gives us so this is going to give us the value as 35 so now we have got the number of patients as 35 we also know the class width here that is 30 minus 10 is going to be 20 so now again making use of this formula we are going to find out its frequency density so to find out the frequency density for the class interval between 10 to 30 we are going to divide the frequency by class width so frequency we have it as 35 and class width is 20 so 35 over 20 let us see how much we get here so 35 over 20 so this is going to give us the frequency density as 1.75 so let me write here 1.75 so here in our histogram just we need to come and draw a rectangle with a height of 1.75 so let me just enlarge it again so this is 1.5 this is 1.6 this is going to be 1.7 so 1.75 is going to be over here so this is how the histogram should look so this height is 1.75 i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video and if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you'll find more examples of this kind and if you're liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching